Good afternoon everybody, I'm Robert from El Magnifico Games and today we are going to play some more Stray. Now last week, uh, sorry, I mean to say on Monday, um, on Monday we reached the Midtown and we actually got quite a long way through the Midtown but then I decided to go back because I thought I'd missed some content uh, and so we didn't complete the entire chapter on Monday, so we'll be going back to the very beginning today, since that appears to be uh, how uh, Stray's save system works. Yeah, we're right near the start again. Which is fine. It does mean, however, that I know roughly what I need to do for the uh, next little while. And it also means that technically I haven't spoken to most of these people, because the people you've spoken to seems to reset. Still, we'll get past the... Uh, we'll get past the content we've already seen, hopefully fairly quickly. Hey, those tapes are ours. Don't you know not to steal? I could give you one, but you'll have to do something for Jinma, Miko, and me. The Sentinels have installed three security cameras to watch us to watch over us. We don't like that at all. Can you get them off our backs? That's interesting. Hmm. Anyway.
My apologies about that. Well done. I didn't think you could do it. Here, take your prize. You earned it. Oh wait, there was one other thing we had to do while we were in that area. to meet up with one of the outsiders. Here we go. I thought you were a scent. Never mind. Who are you? What do you want? Oh, we had to show them the... We had to show Clementine... The... Picture. Wait, so as about as I finally decided to send someone? I guess you're my new recruit. You're not very big. How did you manage... How did you even manage the sewers? I guess you must... I guess you must be pretty resourceful. I've been looking for a way to the outside ever since I left Ant Village, but the Sentinels are always watching. Now that you're here, you can help. Follow me. I've been working on a plan to use this old subway for a while now. I even have the keys to start it. All we need is an atomic battery to power it. I know Neko Corporation has one secured inside their factory. I have a contact who can help us infiltrate them. I don't know his name. He's a robot with a bomber jacket and a gold chain. Take this message to him. Someone small and swift like you should have no trouble sneaking inside the factory. One last thing, don't hesitate to ask around for help. The city is full of information. Just stay clear of the sentinels. Busy, what do you want? Where did you get that? Oh, you're with the outside. My contact. Let me brief you about the atomic battery. The battery is powering the Neko Corporation factory right there. But this whole area is restricted and heavily guarded. They check every person who enters and turns away someone who is not a worker. Here's an idea, get me a worker jacket and a worker helmet while I stay here to check for a good time to enter. Thank you. 
Are you one of those young punks listening to loud music all day? Don't touch anything. Don't make any noise. Don't ask for credit. I wonder what exactly it means to be uh, young for one of these robot folk. How young is young? Or is it more of a uh, personal identity thing. I've been waiting for ages for St Staplachi to get back and help me restock the these hats. The boss is not happy. If that guy's slacking off at the bar again, he has another thing coming. was the worker helmet it was around here somewhere there it is the worker hat although it is really a helmet Go get me a worker jacket and a worker helmet so we can go in. Perfect, the jacket is exactly what we need. I still need a worker helmet though. Uh, did you find one of those? Excellent, this helmet will do the trick. I'll get dressed now, mind turning around? These are great, a little snug around the waistline, but it will do. Okay, hop in this box and I'll stick you across the checkpoint. Okay. Uh, how do 
I sneak past there? Oh, I see. I just wait here. And I don't think he ever actually looks at that. Nope, he does. Oh, well, time to run. No, into the box, please. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Sorry about that. Try that again. Oh, here's my chance. There we go, that was easier. I believe this was part of the content I thought I had missed. Hey, good thing you're here, you can help me. I lost the keys to my place in this dark and huge factory. The Sentinels refused to help me, they told me if no place to go, more work here. If by any chance you could help me find them, I'd be eternally grateful. I had assumed that I would end up down there later on. Um. If I just carried on. Uh, progressing through this facility. But it turns out that's not the case. So last week, I, as I said before, I reloaded the chapter to go back. stand out. Okay, that's not ideal. It was just turning around, but he wasn't. I don't think you're following me this far. Misleading me, 
They're thinking the keys are down there when they're not. I think I'm gonna look it up. I don't want to spend all day on just this one puzzle. Okay, uh, I haven't fully read what needs to be done, but a quick, a quick look seems to suggest uh, this seems bugged. Sorry, a quick look seems to suggest that I do actually just carry on. Well, that was an unfortunate situation to be in. Um, yeah, uh, to the point, a quick look suggests that I do just continue from here, and then there was another... There was a way I could have backtracked later on that I missed. When I say later on, I mean later on in this same facility. So I would have been correct in my assumption last week that I had uh, missed some content.
Oh, okay. I think it may be around here, the workers' keys. Yes, over here. Yep, I completely missed that. Hmm. I'm probably going to have more luck getting back to the worker going this way. Them. Thank you so much. I've been stuck at work for so long. Come here, I have something I can give you in return. Neko badge. Wonderful. So we only have the atomic battery puzzle left to do, and after that I think I'll be back to where I was last week. Oh yeah, there was a barrel I could get into, wasn't there? There we go. We've got it. Quick, let's get out of here before the sentinels show up. We've got to get this battery back to Clementine. I think we're back to where we were before.
But this time we don't have any missed content. Ah, this isn't ideal. Hey, you think you can stop us from hanging in our digs? Do you think the criminal is eyeing my collection of vintage cards? All this work for nothing. You can steal our spot, but you can't steal our moves. I think it makes sense if we can't dance. Sorry about this, just uh, please give me a moment. I'm having some technical difficulties on my end. Right, I think that's fixed. So I suppose the question is, is there another way I can get in there? Or has Clementine found a way out? Probably check all the memories we're looking for again. So what have we got here? Carpets and graffiti and neon lights. An orange-ish room. Uh, a yellow room with a lot of posters. And a blue room with a table. This is the blue room with the, 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 sorry, the yellow room with the posters. The Sentinels, they were meant to protect people, fighting crime and maintaining order. But as life became harder in the city and groups started to rise up, the Sentinels quickly became the hounds of the powerful. They were the perfect tool to keep the city under control, obedient, unquestioning, tireless. Even after the end of humans, they continue to exert their control. Always on duty. Relentless. I just want to quickly check that some of the memories we picked up last time have definitely been picked up.
that's odd. That it seems like some of the memories have reverted, as if it didn't save properly last time. It's inter it's interesting to see robots mimicking human work and behaviour. Here they seem to sell burgers and street food. I remember my favourite place to go when I was human. It was small and welcoming, and the server's name was. I don't remember. It started with an M, I think. I thought it seemed odd there were so many memories that we still hadn't picked up, because I'd thought we'd last week got it down to only two memories remaining. And those two remaining were in areas we couldn't get to yet, one of them being inside that room. And I believe I remember reading the other memory we couldn't get to yet is inside that nightclub. Anyway, I know there should be a memory... Uh, where was it? Somewhere up here. So I assume that one's reverted as well. Yep. This spot is nice. Well, I wouldn't give to actually feel the softness of the pillows or taste the taste of a cold drink. This drone is useful, but I miss having my own body. I miss feeling. I even miss hurting and being hungry. I know this isn't helpful. Oh, sorry. I know this isn't helping. But what if we stay just a little longer? Thanks for listening. I'm ready now. Okay, so I believe the only memory left... Um, ...in this area that we don't have... ...is at the nightclub that we don't yet have access to. So now... ...we just carry on the story and try to figure out oh I can just go through can I remain calm a search operation is ongoing remain calm a search operation is ongoing ah, and they've trained us at the factory how to deal with these uh, searchlights Ooh, that was close. Uh-oh. Can't go up that way. I can go up that side. There we go. That's progress.
Look at clue board. Clem? Hmm. No sign of Clementine. Oh, what's that? It looks like some kind of coded message. We're going to have to play detective to figure out what happened to her. Look. The B12 and the cat. The answer lies in my stuff. And then there's four symbols. It's signed Clementine. Take a look. So there's... A plant. Something that looks a bit like a rock formation. A traffic cone. And I think a lava lamp? Is that one of the things? My senses can only detect harmless chemicals in a gauge state. They can't recreate the coming sensation I remember. Like me, companions can't smell, so I wonder why they do this. There's also a message entered under the container. It says, I'm with... Blank, 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 blank. Ah, that must be the rock formation. This is a gem of medium value and low purity. The glow seems to have been added artificially. Maybe it acts as a beacon for us to find something useful. Thank you, there is a message. It says, uh, dash dash blazer dash dash dash. Found something? Hmm, I don't see anything, are you sure? Oh, okay. The game's teasing me, I see. Huh? What an odd thing to have in an apartment. Is this the way the companions here see humans? It's kind of funny. Look, something's been left there. It says, uh, blank, 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 come to blank. So that's, I'm with Blazer, come to. So we found the rock formation, the traffic cone on the person. What was the other one we found? Oh, that. The, um, essential oil diffuser. I'm guessing the oh, so it's not a plant. That was the first one. I get it. Because that's steam coming up, not a plant. Okay. So we've got the all the first three. We're just looking for the lava lamp, if that is what it is. 
It may be uh, some other sort of lamp. You found something? Hmm, I don't see anything. Are you sure? Could that be it? I have no idea what this is, but its glow is kind of mesmerizing. Sorry, I was elsewhere. I didn't even notice this message here. It reads, Nightclub. I'm with Blazer, come to Nightclub. That's it, well done, Lieutenant Cat. Now let's go find her. We don't have much time. Oh no! How far back is it going to put me? I do wonder if I'd have been better off just running. Okay, the note's gone. And I don't seem to be able to interact with anything here. So I assume this was just after I solved it. This may be foolish, but what happens if I just try and run it? So I can make it away with it. Yep. It's not for you. Go away. Bribe, I don't take bribes. I value my work. What is that anyway? Oh dear. We probably shouldn't have shown him that there. I don't think the bouncer is going to let us in. Hey guys, I think we're going to have to climb at the back again. I want car to clean the streets, only for others to mess it up again. Anyway, that's how the world works. Announcement, if you're looking for some company to talk about poetry, I'll live behind the elevator, Bonobot. Howdy partner, why don't you come over here so I can get a good look at you?
You have no business here unless you want your legs replaced by something more fancy, which you don't. Danger, roof level at 2%. Please find a dancing spot immediately. I hate this club, it's full of posers, but at least there's no sentinels there. Ah, okay, I assume we go up this way. And then here, and then up here. Okay, this is making sense. Wonderful, look at this little, this little cutie. Hey, how'd you get up here? You wanna party with us? Here, jump in and get a drink. Right, so first thing, let's see if I can find that memory. And second thing, we'll look for Clementine. Hey everybody, DJ Matsy here. Let's get the party started. The first song has been requested by a very questionable friend, Blazer. some drinks on it. Hmm. Enjoying yourself, little one? Hey customer, the access to the VOP balcony is closed, some private business going on there. It's been reserved by some blazer guy, I think. Give it to the left, give it to the right. Beep, boop, sweep, swoop. It's called the Zegma Dance. Or is that Zagebba? You like my mask? I made it myself. It jams the Sentinel scans and it looks cool.
take strange drink. I paid extra to get tonight's dance moves from the bouncer. He's the one programming the holograms in this in his spare time. I don't think it's good for you. sucks. When I try to go to that stupid VIP room, they kick me out. Me, can you believe it? So I stole this lever just for kicks. If you get me a drink, I'll give you this silly lever. I don't need it and I don't want to get caught with it. Oh, thanks my friend. Here you go, as promised. Oh, I had several complaints. Uh, I had several complaints. So no, we can't disable the hollow dancers because um, fool thought it was funny to steal the lever handle. Anyway, you want to drink something? Oh, you found it. Put it back where it belongs, please. What was the point in that? I suppose it allows me to be able to move them about. Why would that be an advantage? Ah, because it lets me get up higher. raises those things. Ah, I see. 
So, so some combination of those buttons will create a path for the cat to jump across, which I think I may have just done by chance. No, there's no way to make this next jump, I don't think. very good relationship with the sentinels. I don't understand why people complain so much about them. Mm, 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 mm. Two birds with one stone. You're not as clever as you look, little cat. Anyway, nothing personal. Business is business. Business is money. And I value money way more than friendship or, com or camaraderie. They're all yours. Cat Raz. Oh dear, I hope I didn't uh, miss another memory. Ah, they've taken away B12, that's not ideal. Yeah. Doesn't look good.
Oh. That makes sense, I guess. No. B twelve. Ah, in there.
be a shame if someone pulled this lever. Confident there. I'm trying to rush it too much. That was close. I felt like I was trapped in my lab's computer system again, all alone. But you came back for me, I can't believe it. You're a good friend. I'm so glad that we're all together again, but we're not safe yet. We need to find a way out of here. Can you open that door just there? Interesting. 
interesting. That looks like blue skies. It looks like it's on a screen. very helpful. Those sentinels are blocking the way again. They will spot me instantly. Maybe you can try to bait them into those cells and lock them in. See that guy on the ground over there? He was rebooted. I don't want to lose my memory, I'm so scared. This recovery center has done me the greatest good. My mind is clear and lucid. I'm an exemplary citizen now. The final memory besides, well, there's three more memories we don't have. One I'm going to have to go back for. One that's going to trigger as part of the story. And then one that's, and this one. This poor fellow. It seems that the sentinels are ruthless when it comes to defying them. That's what I feared. They've completely erased them. No more emotions, no more self-awareness, no more memories. Please, let's not get caught. Hey, don't get me in trouble. I only have 758 years left and then I'm free again. There's nothing. Oh no.
Oops. I'm thinking to keep them in there, I need to go past the door so that they see me and stop advancing. That's my thought, anyway. Nope. Maybe I'd have an easier time if I unlock that one. Oh, I can... I didn't realise I could do that. Okay, that changes everything. Okay, that was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. Wait, one of them's returned. Oh, no. Now I think I've got him. <laughs> wow, what what you did? Ha <laughs> ha, that was funny. That's interesting, we still have the atomic battery. Say hello, we aren't in the clear yet. Door, it's the only way out of this jail. I think we can open it from the control room over there. We have to find a way to get access to the room though. Let's look around.
We're in luck. They left the keys in the door. Up on the back of the truck, you should be able to jump over the fence to access a secure area. What's the deal with them? Yep, they seem to see me regardless. There's no way we'll all make it with the sentinels on our tail. I can distract them for a little while, but you have to go. The outside man the outside of manifesto says we must go outside at any cost. I wrote that. You're one of us now. It's not that everyone has to get to the outside, but one of us has to. Subway key. Go now. I'll keep you in my ram, little outsider.
I don't particularly follow. Uh, I assume I'm not supposed to go this way. Because I'm pretty sure this is how I reached the subway originally. And so it's probably not. Or it's from where I originally reached it, so it's probably not very relevant. Oh, it is. Now that we've definitively reached another chapter, I wonder if it's um, time that I go back and pick up that last memory I missed. Probably yes. Okay, I see. That's peculiar. This seems even earlier in the chapter than uh, when we started today. Look, this is a subway station. I'd completely forgotten this kind of transportation existed. You could ride to anywhere in the city. People used to take it uh, to go to work. I used to take it too. Every morning after saying goodbye to my family at home. I remember I was doing this for them. But they're gone now. It was so long ago. They wanted to see the outside, but does that even matter anymore? What happened to them? What happened to everyone? Anyway, we're in the Midtown now. Let's find Clementine. We have a picture of her. We can show it to some of the companions around here. Maybe they'll point us in the right direction. Okay, so the plan is that as fast as I can, I'm going to um, speed run Midtown again until we get back to the nightclub. And then uh, I'll pick up that last memory. Then we'll go back to the main menu and start control the uh, the control room chapter again, which is obviously um, where we are in the story right now. Oops. 
So, first thing, destroy the cameras. We need to be introduced to Clementine or Clementine. Uh, I will actually skip the uh, most of this dialogue to keep things fast. Now we go to the bar to wake the worker who is um, sleeping on the job. again and wait for the and wait for the worker to show up. go. Uh, where was the, there's the worker helmet. 
Next, we give the items to Blazer. And then we try to speed run the factory. Oh wait, uh, he wants me in the box. the wrong way anyway. Guess I have to wait for him to turn the other way. up there, isn't it? There we go. Under here. Up here. Down here. And now we just run past. Doke. Uh, there we go. Try and speed run the atomic battery puzzle. Interesting, you can only have one of those pulling you at a time. I mean, that makes absolute sense. But I didn't realise turning one on automatically turns the other off. As if they're wirelessly connected or something. has done it.
kommt das Skedaddle. Right, nearly there. So the next thing to do is we have to run the gauntlet to get back to Clementine's room. I assume it's probably worth double checking that we can't get to the nightclub already. Doesn't look like it, no. Uh, let's try it actually. No, we can. That's fair enough. So we've got to run the gauntlet, do the puzzle on Clementine's room, or Clementine's room. Um, oh yeah, I can just go through there, can't I? There we go. Right, find the note. Just have to remember where everything was. That was number one. in here I think and four was in here I think There we go. Oh, I did a much better job of uh, running the gauntlet in reverse this time than I did the first time. And now we should be able to get access to the nightclub. And thus, the final memory. Now what I read is that there's a dumb waiter in here somewhere which we can use to take us up to a storage room. Take us down it would seem. And that's where we can find the final memory. Oh yeah. When I was human, my friends and I would gather and party long into the night, even if we had to suffer the annoying consequences the next morning. It felt good to find joy despite the un 
livable surface, and the underground living conditions becoming more and more squalid, and the capitalistic greed of companies like Necocorp and the police state created by the Sentinels. Now I remember why we were doing that. Wonderful! Just one memory to go, and it's a story memory. Uh, I wonder if I should do a tiny bit more just to make sure I get up to a safe point. Let's assume it's okay. That will be a shame. If I have to do all that again. Oh, it's put me back here. And it's undone the memory. Okay, that's worth... That's, um, well worth knowing. So that's why we must have lost all those memories at the end, between last session and today's. I probably didn't go on to the next checkpoint. After having acquired them. Okay, what were the solutions here? I had to give a drink to somebody, didn't I? Which, to be honest, I never really solved. I just started moving things about almost at random. Okay. Well, that one clearly has to be down because we need the... Oh, no, it doesn't have to be down. I was going to say because it brings down the closest one to us. But I'm fairly certain it was down when I solved it before. So that must be the combination. Oh, there we go. That's the checkpoint. Okay, now it should be safe to go back to the main menu and reload from the control room chapter and carry on the story. Yep, and the fact it says 26 out of 27 leads me to believe that is a count of memories. and that it has saved. Oh, wonderful.
Oh, it feels so nice to know that I can just casually play the game again. I don't have to worry about having missed content. Hello, how may I help you? Please head to the leisure area if you would like to purchase or consume any goods. Have a nice day. He seems a lot like one of those early companions, doesn't he? This is an early model of companion. Back then they didn't have any personality. They just... They were just glorified autonomous cleaners. Perhaps in this area, the companions never... Um, never improved themselves for some reason. Never had that breakthrough. Greetings, inhabitant of Walled City 99. Inside Walled City 99, organic life forms require special care. That is why my fellow companion robots and I were designed to caretake for all life forms. Have a nice day. I'm currently painting this area. Please be careful of the wet paint. Have a nice day. That's illegible. The thing I was wondering is if these companions never developed into uh, more well-rounded beings, then does that mean that the robot language never took off here either? And it should all be in English? You'd have thought so. Well, what was the button to talk to B12? He may have an opinion. At this point, we're almost near the... Sorry, at this point we're almost near the surface. We just need to find the exit. Oh, that's interesting. That makes sense. That's why we... Um, presumably why we came here. We just didn't use the elevator. Greetings inhabitants of World City 99. The, the, this door leading to the surface is currently locked due to, the, to confinement procedure. Please refer to any certified engineer inside the control room if you have any requests. Have a nice day. Hello, how may I help you? Please head to the leisure area if you would like to purchase or consume any goods. Have a nice day. So the question then becomes, why would the companions down below have developed both physically and mentally whereas these ones who have presumably just been left here I assume this is the entrance area where the humans originally came in before then going to the subway system and their relative sections of the walled city and then this area has probably been left completely empty aside from the companions for hundreds of years if that's the case what happened to the robots down below to cause them to change? Was this just some sort of development that the humans living down there made, which then um, just took on a life of its own? Or meaning these are essentially just, um, what's the word, legacy models, living history? Or could it be that the humans on a wider scale transferred their consciousness into the robots and that was the change which meant that they developed more and more but at some point that fact was forgotten and perhaps data corrupted which would explain why they started mimicking humans. Hello, my current task is clean the window. Please refer to any certified engineer inside the control room if you have any requests. Have a nice day. Oh, wow. Oh, 
The control room is closed by some sort of security protocol. It says that only humans are authorized to enter. Also, it says that I'm not considered human. Hey, that's offensive security protocol. Maybe if we work together, we can open this passageway. Uh, presumably I need to move something there so that I can get up close enough to use Y. Because Y, I believe, is scratch. Oh, there's one of these handy little robots. How did it know? Uh, why can I still not use Y? Why can I still not use Y? That's strange. Is there anything else in the vicinity that I'm supposed to be paying attention to? Hello, the city has been sealed for your safety. Please refer to any certified engineer inside the control room if you have any requests. Have a nice day. Inside World City 99, organic life forms require special care. That is why my fellow companion robots and I were designed to caretake for all life forms. Have a nice day. Don't follow. Why can I not use Y there? Is there something I'm supposed to pick up? I can't activate that robot to have it follow me anymore. Ah, okay, that makes sense. I'm being helpful. This is a control room for the entire city. They controlled everything from here, and it's empty. I remember hating them so much. They had everything. Clean space, limitless power, freedom to move. Little good it did them. It's a good point. Why aren't there any bodies here? If they all died from a contagion, then where are the bodies? I don't even see any ro companion robots in here that could conceivably have cleaned up. Goodness knows what they would have done with the bodies. The plague, I remember now. Everyone was dying and they thought they were above it all. They did nothing to help us. I watched my family die, I felt helpless. I couldn't do anything to save them. But I can still help you, we can still go outside, together. I will carry the memories of humanity and the people I loved. Achievement unlocked, I remember. I remember everything now. I feel amazing. Thank you so much. Here, a little present for you. Goodness. I'm certainly not seeing anything here that doesn't look like, that looks provably not English, or at the very least provably not a human language, as opposed to the robot's language. So I guess that does figure that the robots never developed up here, it would seem, for whatever reason. This is it, the main computer. It's strange then that they all develop, that the robots down below seem to develop in all sections that we saw.
as opposed to in one section, which, you know, would make sense if there was a particular scientist working in one section that ended up developing robots that could improve themselves. It seems to have been, from what we've seen, a change which took place everywhere except up above in the control room. This is it, the main computer. According to the mainframe, no one has been here for years. The whole city is stuck in a lockdown cycle from long ago. If we disable it, we should be able to leave. We'll need to bring the rest of these systems online. These, compute, <clears throat> these computers hold the data we need. We need to turn them on. While you do that, I'll look for passwords and encrypted keys to get into the system. Oh, I see. Oh, that's interesting. Apparently, they if I walk on any keyboard, it will toggle whether it's on or not. The computer, I mean. It worked. Good job, my friend. I found it. And why is the cat so intelligent? We never found an answer to why this cat is able to understand language and reason. I know how to open the city. Something's off here. Wait, maybe there's a way around it. Roof control station. System is locked. There, that's the workstation to open the city. But there are several levels of security preventing us from using it. Well, if there's any more keyboards you need me to step on, let me know, B12. Now we need to do what we do best. Me, I'll hack the machines and you destroy some stuff. Uh, I mean, great. Can you be more specific, though? Oh, I see. Is this how you circumvent computer security? The, the, the system is taking more than I expected. I don't... Oh no. We've got to keep going. I don't know how bad that is though. Because if there's no one... If there's no security... Then... If there's no security robots around, then who cares that the system thinks there's been an intrusion? Presumably we have time to deal with it. Don't worry, I can recharge once we open up the, that workstation. I 
more worried about damage to your circuitry. Not to mention corruption of your data. Uh, oh no, poor B12. Looked almost like the uh, devs intend him to perish and we be the only one that escape. Possibly being reunited with our family at that point. Again, I'm not particularly worried about that camera if there's no one about. We're certainly not going to encounter any humans, so far as we know. Because so far as we know, they're gone. Whether opening up is such a great idea from the other the other way round, thinking about it, because presumably we'd be releasing Zerks into the onto the Earth, whereas at the moment they're contained. That might have some unpleasant long-term consequences. Oh no, I had a feeling. I, I think this, this little body is done for. It's okay, I'll be alright, just carry me to the workstation, we can disable that alarm. This one? No. Over here. That's it, we're safe. Listen, I have something to tell you. I knew the power required to disable the central control system would be immense, more than this drone body could handle. But with the security now disabled, I can take control of the system and open the city. Overriding it, overriding it could destroy my software. But I made that choice when I hooked into that first computer and the consequences it would bring. I'm sorry we won't see the outside together. I thought I needed to carry on the memories of humanity to hold on to the past. But I see a future in the companies and you. Oh, in the companions, sorry. That's very different. I see a future in the companions and you. Here, let me take that off of you. You are my friend, the very best I could have asked for. Thank you. Okay, so the Zerks can't handle sunlight. That's good to know, but that still doesn't mean that uh, it's safe to let them loose. There are plenty of creatures which have evolved to survive in the absence of sunlight. Sunlight? Sunlight. Plus, the Zerks might just evolve to be able to to be able to stand it now and whatever light frequencies they can't currently handle. Oh, 
Looks like we can't carry him with us. That's a shame. It's always possible he was mistaken, and or at least, as it turns out, his software wasn't completely destroyed and it could be salvaged. Poor B12. Go. Goodness, this looks overgrown. Not sure it looks several hundred years overgrown though. This looks more like just decades. Thinking about it, this can't be where the cat's family is because he because the cat fell in. If the cat were able to fall in from the outside, then that means the city was never fully contained. Unless part of the structure had collapsed, so it was originally fully contained, and then it collapsed, exposing it to the outside. Achievement unlocked eye opener. So that was the game. I very much enjoyed that. What did people in chat think? Right, that's definitely it. So, thank you for coming everybody. I hope you enjoyed the stream. And I hope you enjoyed Stray. I'll be streaming again on Monday. I haven't yet decided what the next game is going to be that I play through, but we'll be beginning whatever that is on Monday. Wednesday will be my normal Poetry, Prose and Riddles stream. Th Friday will be back to whatever video game that I'm currently playing through. And the same with Saturday, which will, I assume will go ahead. Monday, Wednesday and Fridays are the streams I always do. Uh, Saturdays I um, very often do. All streams from 4 o'clock. So, once again, thank you for coming. And I hope you enjoyed it. Have a lovely day.